and its assumption of uh, auto correlation now what is auto correlation uh, before discussing auto correlation we should learn the concept of lagged value now for example uh, this is uh, our first value 0.8 and then 1.3 so the lag of 1.3 is 0.8 so we can write in this way like here So the difference of these two uh, terms, the first one is original term and the second one is uh, lag term. And that can be represented like uh, delta t. So 1.3 minus 0.8, we will get 0.5. So this is the first difference. Now, uh, in a classical linear regression model, we assume that our error term uh, is uh, uh, independent. Now, what is meant by independent? That uh, there is uh, no relationship between ui and uj, and it should be equal to zero. So, obviously, we never have the actual uh, error term. Uh, we uh, take as a sample data and the error term of sample data. Now, if there are pattern in the residuals, then we say that they are auto correlated uh, and the other way around uh, to test the market efficiency we use the, these auto correlation analysis now the first step is to consider possible relationship between the current residuals and immediately previous one that is uh, ut minus one uh, through graphical uh, representation now in next slide you can see that uh, uh, this shows positive relationship. Here again, we have positive relationship, then negative, and then positive correlationship. And again, then negative. So this graphic representation tell us the case of autocorrelation. Here again, a negative correlationship. And then uh, we have a pattern. Uh, one is uh, positive, then negative, positive and negative. So this is the case of also auto correlation but to look at uh, this graph in this graph we have no pattern and in the second graph you can see that although one there is positive then negative then positive but here we have two positive then we have negative and then three negative so there is uh, no pattern so this is the case that uh, where we have no auto correlation now, how we can write uh, generally uh, this model, uh, you can see that here Y is dependent variable and we have number of IVs. So our error term is IIDN. So what is meant by IIDN? Uh, the first I means uh, independent. Means independent means that uh, this uh, multiple regression model in this model, there should be no autocorrelation. And uh, second ID means uh, identically distributed mean it should be the case of homoscarcity. And N means normally distributed with zero mean with unit variance. Now we will uh, just uh, uh, test here uh, the autoregressive model of first order and it can be represented uh, like this one. That our ter error term is depending upon uh, previous error term or so we want to test this one. So what would be the, our uh, hypothesis? Our hypothesis would be that uh, there is uh, no autocorrelation. Our H0 is the row is zero, means there is no autocorrelation. And our H1, the row not equal to zero. In, uh, remember that in our diagnostic test, we want to accept H0. And here's the formula for Durban Watson test. And uh, uh, I will test uh, this with the help of Excel software. Now there are certain assumptions for uh, Durban Watson test. Uh, the first test that was introduced in 1951 that uh, autocorrelation must be a first order. So it can be tested only for first order. And then the regression model must include an interceptor and there should be no lag of dependent variable and error must be normally distributed. Now, uh, 
uh, uh, we will use uh, this uh, Durban Watson test. It is available in eViews and many other software as well. So just go to Excel. For example, we have this data. Now, first of all, uh, no, just uh, I want to zoom it. No. Uh, this is our data where uh, we have uh, one DV and two IVs. So this is a regression model where we have intercept term as well. Y equal to alpha plus beta 1x1 plus beta 2x2 plus error term. So first we run the regression model, go to data analysis and uh, then select regression. Now the range is already selected because I have already run. And now this is our dependent variable range, then our input range and labels in first row, then confidence interval 95% and new watching, just okay. Now we have this residual term, just copy these residual terms. Control C and go to again first sheet. Uh, this is our residual term. Now, first we will take its lag term. Now, here is lag term, this one, and just copy it down. Now, we will take uh, the square of uh, error term. By taking lag, uh, we lose our uh, first observation. So, take its square and then take the difference of uh, error term and it's log term and then we will take its square. This is our error term minus its lag term and then we will take its square power two. And just copy it down. And just sum it with the help of calculator you can sum by using here we will use sum function. Just bold it. No, uh, the first one is a uh, uh, summation uh, error term square, and this is summation error term minus its lag term square. So here is the Durban Watson test formula. Just divide this, this is your numerator divided by a uh, denominator. Value is 1.9. Now we will check its significance. Uh, first, we should have number of observation. <laughs> P is a total number of observations are 15. Uh, these are number of estimators that are three, and K bar is basically number of coefficients. <coughs> Here, number of betas that we have two betas. Now, <clears throat> unfortunately, we have two degree of freedom here. We will have to uh, take two values. Uh, lower value as well as upper value. Uh, uh, here we sh should have K prime, this value, as well as uh, number of observation. So just go to the table. Uh, here we have table. From table, we have T15, and then we will take uh, uh, these two numbers. Uh, here K prime equal to two. The one value is D is 0.7 and then one point. 0.7 and then 1.25 here, 0.7 and then 1.25. So here we have the table, just we will put the values here, uh, 0 0.7, then uh, this is our du 1.5, that four minus. So it values the 1.99 uh, basically exists here, that is very much close to two. So it means that uh, we cannot reject H0, we will accept H0. And in H0, we have mentioned that there is no autocorrelation. Uh, so thank you very much for watching this video.